Hey guys! So, the Chinese say, it's better not to eat meat than live without bamboo. Today, we'll tell you about this incredible plant with fairly unique properties. Most of us think bamboo is a tree. But bamboo is actually a grass and is a distant relative of both wheat and rice. However, unlike them, there are many ways of using bamboo. No other plant is used so many different ways. This grass is used to build buildings and bridges, make furniture, utensils, water pipes, rafts, musical instruments, bones, canes, umbrellas, shutters, toys, and much, much more. As a tropical and subtropical plant in its natural environment, bamboo grows in Asia, Europe, North and South America, Africa, and Australia, with known sites in Oceania as well. China is the bamboo kingdom, where over 400 species of bamboo grow and where the largest bamboo fields are. Bamboo is an evergreen plant that grows about 4 inches per day. Scientists often research it and the Japanese marake bamboo is a record holder for growing 47 inches in one day. Due to its rapid growth rate, a culture can reach a height of 125 feet while having a stock diameter of only 10 inches. Sometimes bamboo worshippers gather to listen to it grow. It's not a myth. Bamboo grows so fast, you can hear how the ground moved by sprouts whispers. If you saw one off, another will quickly grow in its place. This is different because bamboo has a very powerful root system that spreads in different directions. Considering the density of bamboo forests, it's clear that the roots are intensely interwoven, creating a thick and very durable structure. An entire bamboo wood is frequently like one plant that begins with one seed whose roots had hundreds of branches. There are several ways to grow bamboo. The first is to grow it from seeds. For commercial use, growing woody species of bamboo from seeds is the least attractive. The main reason is quite simple. You would have to wait on average 40 to 120 years for the bamboo to bloom. It's surprising, but all the stalks in one grove will bloom at the same time no matter what climate they're in. However, plantation owners don't like this. During that time, the plants absorb all the nutrients using their roots and almost always die, giving their place to their seeds. Typically, the blooming period takes a large amount of land with bamboo growing on it. In that case, following the blooming, the death of the plants often leads to all the bamboo in that area disappearing. To avoid that, adult shoots are regularly cut. The most effective way to grow bamboo is by cutting. You need to cut a graft off the plant and put it in water like a grapevine. The root system will develop in three to four weeks. At that time, you can replant the bamboo into the soil. An effective way to grow bamboo is to plant the root system. Strong root systems spread very rapidly under the ground. Each root internode could lead to new shoots growing. They can grow well even out of the soil. All these seedlings will grow in artificial conditions for one to two years and then be planted into the ground. When the bamboo is large enough, it is sawn off for industrial purposes. To use bamboo in construction, only older bamboo plants four to six years old are cut. The bamboo is extremely durable when the stock color changes from green to a gray-green. If the color becomes pale, it means the bamboo is too old and can be taken off the plantation. Fresh cut bamboo stalks 20 feet long can weigh over 150 pounds. All the stalks are cut to the required lengths at the factory. The outer layer of the bamboo is very hard. The first 1.5 millimeters or 0.06 inches becomes hard like a rock after it dries. It's almost impossible to damage using metal tools. Bamboo has a natural waterproof inner layer, so it is processed using chemicals to kill insects and bacteria from the inside. The fibers can absorb the liquid well there. A long steel rod is used to penetrate the bamboo at every knot along its length. Before starting to preserve the stock, moss and other surface marks are washed off using high-pressure water. Then, each knot is individually cleaned manually with a steel brush. 
it's hard to count the industries today that don't use bamboo. The most common use is as a construction material. Bamboo can be made into basically anything for construction, like walls, roofs, stairs, framework, windows, and door frames. When preparing the stock's thick surfaces by binding, weaving, or another method, they are secured to each other. Modern bamboo construction materials are often boards or panels. Since the stock is tube-shaped, cutting it lengthwise won't give you a typical beam. So a method of gluing and pressing separate strips of bamboo into sheets that are then covered with lacquer is used. They can be used as separate material for walls, ceilings, and flooring. Bamboo boards are thinner than wooden ones, which makes them lighter for construction. If you look at bamboo and think it's fragile or short-lived, you'd be mistaken. Bamboo used to be used for homes and even palaces. Some buildings made out of bamboo survived a millennium. The bamboo bridge in Anlan crossing the Min River was built in the 3rd century CE. It is 1,050 feet long and is currently in good condition and can be walked on. The fact that bamboo is used as framing in cement buildings shows its durability and resilience. Additionally, Cambodia has a bridge across the Mekong River that's 984 feet long. It's rebuilt every dry season and taken down and stored in a warehouse for the rainy season. It is strong enough for pedestrians, bicycles, and also cars. The bridge connects the Koh Phen River Island to a city on the western bank. Bamboo bends and bounces, but doesn't break. So, if you are careful enough, you can cross it on a motorcycle or even a light car. It uses about 50,000 bamboo rods to make. It's no surprise that in China and Hong Kong, bamboo is almost the only material used for scaffolding. The shock experienced from seeing Chinese workers climbing bamboo ladders dozens of yards tall without any safety net may be compared to the horror of considering eating grasshoppers. But the safety and effectivity of these designs has been proved by thousands of years of usage and, according to specialists, depends solely on the professionalism of the construction workers. The ancient profession of rigging bamboo ladders hasn't lost its popularity, even today, since Chinese construction companies save money on steel and wooden scaffolding. If you walk around a Chinese city streets, you'll see many different structures like tall buildings, malls, and administrative buildings, and they are all covered from top to bottom in a web of bamboo ladders and safety nets. A significant amount of bamboo is used to make single-use chopsticks. In total, Chinese factories release 80 billion pairs of single-use chopsticks, and a significant number goes to export. Of course, the main buyer is neighboring Japan. Traditional factories store the cut bamboo in a neighboring building. Then, the stock is cut into identical pieces and sawn into two halves by hand. Then, they are cut at a special location into small planks. Next, these planks are sent to another shop, where they are made into the final product. The machine tool cuts them and gives the bottom ends a rounded shape without sawing them all the way through, leaving the chopsticks connected and rectangular at the other end. This is so the person who will use them knows that they are new. The next machine makes the bottom ends sharper. After the chopsticks are finished, they are given to quality control where the workers check them for damage and if they meet the client's requirements, then they are packaged. After that, they are sorted by quality and put into bags. Bamboo is used for a wonderful tea made from bamboo leaves. They are gathered by hand and carefully washed with clean water. The leaves are cut into tiny pieces. The leaves are steamed for five minutes. The dried leaves are packaged in boxes or bags like the ones for normal tea. Bamboo tea has beneficial effects for the human body. It has no caffeine, so there is no limit to the amount of bamboo tea like there is for normal tea or coffee. And it's a natural antioxidant that removes harmful compounds from the body. If it's easy for people to not have bamboo tea, it's impossible to overestimate the significance of bamboo for the panda, since it's their main food source. If there were no bamboo plantations, these animals would be in danger of starvation. Evolution led to panda intestines not being able to digest meat, but their stomachs have a thick layer with a tough mucous membrane to protect them from bamboo splinters. However, this plant has low nutritional value, 
So the pandas have to eat 22 to 88 pounds of bamboo a day. Research has shown that the giant pandas have evolutionarily adapted to eating bamboo thanks to minimal energy expenses and a hormonal background. Additionally, out of the many species of Chinese bamboo, the pandas only eat a few more than 10 and only young plants, not those that have bloomed for 30 years already. If the panda eats a whole bamboo plantation, it needs to move to another, not wait for new shoots. So humans and their agricultural activity could doom pandas to extinction if the suitable species of bamboo are destroyed. Currently in China, there are over 20,000 pandas, and the Chinese have been trying to increase their declining population for years. Success only came when they began to restore wild bamboo forests and relocated pandas to them. Well, that's all for today. Be sure to leave a like, comment, let me know if you learned anything new, and maybe we should just let pandas go extinct. I don't know. We'll see you again next time.